So I'm Joshua Graham with Dig It here at the Scottish Storytelling Centre and I'm here with Donald Smith and I'm a storyteller and director of Tracks, Traditional Arts and Culture Scotland. And it's almost Burns Night. So can you give us a little bit of a, what is Burns Night? Well, it is the the anniversary of his birth on uh, 25th of January, 1759. But I think it's become much more than that. I think it's a seasonal festival. It comes right in the depths of winter. You know, they talk now about Blue Monday. And a week later, we've got, uh, we've got Burns Night. And I think it, it's become a winter festival of fellowship and good cheer just to get us through to the spring. Um, on the night that Burns was born, his house fell down. His family's <laughs> house fell down in a horrendous storm. So it was quite a simple, you know, country home or cottage. The whole gable wall came in and he had to be sheltered by neighbours and all the rest of it. And it's great to go to Alloway and see the birthplace because they've done a fantastic job of creating that as a wonderful new museum and with a garden and all the, the precious things about the surviving features all there. But you see that in the setting of the west of Scotland, of Ayrshire, of Alloway itself. It's, it's very special. And if you get a chance, Wherever you live, in the UK or beyond, it's really a great thing to go and, and visit that place. And I think you feel a sense of connection for the Tam O'Shanter devotees. You can just go up the river a little bit and see the actual bridge <laughs> where Tam O'Shanter had to flee to escape the witches. And so what sort of uh, programs do you have here at the Storytelling Centre? I hear... A rumor that you've been trying to get one particular thing just right. Is that right? <laughs> well, um, a feature of many uh, traditional Burns events, and we, we, we don't like to knock a tradition if it's a good one, is <laughs> um, the telling of Tam O'Shanter, which is, is you know, one of the great narrative poems of world culture and a very distinctive artistic creation of Burns. Burns is both poet and storyteller, but also it is a ghost story. It's a story about witchcraft and the supernatural. Um, and, of course, it's a story about a guy who's just trying to get home from the pub. <laughs> and... Um, I have great fun uh, every year, as I've been doing now actually for over 40 years, I've been doing uh, Tam O'Shanter at Burns events. And um, I'm very keen now to share and pass on some of the experiences and tips and skills in order to encourage new generations of people, women as well as men, because it used to be a bit of a, a kind of man thing, and um, to tackle the telling of Tam O'Shanter. So, do you mind telling us what you might see at a typical Burns Night? Well, the original inspiration of a Burns Night is really a convivial evening, the kind of thing that Burns would love to have been at, where you have music and poetry, song and food. Um, you know, and all of those are wrapped together with, you know, the food being served and people telling stories and talking and sharing. And that is really the old tradition of what they called the House Cayley in Scotland. And Burns loved it, whether it was in a house or at the tavern or, or whatever. And he writes about that quite a bit in his own poetry. Now, a Burns supper um, became, in the 19th century, a slightly more formalised thing where the food becomes more like a dinner with certain courses, including haggis, and speeches and various kinds of musical and poetic entertainment are, you know, interspersed. And among the things would be addressing the haggis and promptly, you know, sort of chopping it, puncturing it, ready for serving up. And perhaps an immortal memory, a toast to the immortal memory of Burns. Now, I think it's important to say, though, that there is nothing set about all that. People are absolutely at liberty to create their own Burns celebration with whatever mix of elements they wish. There's no 
right and wrong way of doing things. And uh, Burns would absolutely be happiest at the idea that people were going to celebrate his birthday with a good convivial evening of song, music, story, food and a little bit of drink thrown in as well.